All right, I'm sitting in a hotel room in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, with a prom going on below me. And so, I don't know if you'll pick it up in the video, but below me I've got going, dun, 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 which isn't bad, I gotta say. But I don't have my regular setup with my, my multiple monitors and my nice microphone and, and uh, have my notes up on the side screen like I normally have. Just I got, uh, I borrowed the Mac from Evil Hilton and uh, that's what I got. So we're going to do our best and hopefully it comes together. Anyway, this is the moment that you've all been waiting for. It's time to deploy these apps. Now we're going to be deploying to Microsoft Azure, which is the major competitor of AWS. And, uh, and so you'll, you'll see obviously some differences, but basically accomplishing the same purposes, right? And uh, because we built this project using Microsoft technologies, it makes it so much easier to deploy uh, to Azure. So let's get to it. So step one is to go in and make sure that we have an Azure account. So we go to portal.azure.com. And when you log in there, uh, now if you don't have an account, you'll have to create one. I'm assuming that uh, most of you, if not all of you, have an account on Azure. And so we need to create our Azure account. And then once we're in the Azure account, then we need to set up a uh, subscription. So if you don't have one yet, you'll go in and create a subscription. Again, I'm assuming you have one um, where you go in and build out your, uh, well, the credit card information and, and billing information, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's not what I meant to do at all. Let's go back. I meant to say create a new subscription so you can add a subscription and you go in and fill out all the information um, in terms of what you uh, want. Now, everything we're going to do is going to be free, but just be careful because you can get charged for it. So I'll try and show you carefully how to create those free accounts. So uh, anyway, once we have this, just one other thing that I uh, found helpful uh, because I got an error as long as we're in here. So I'm going to go into my BYU Azure subscription and what we're looking for here is resource providers and we find it there and click on that. And then the resource that we're looking for is uh, the one that is operational insights. So we'll search for that. Oh, it's all one word. Operational insights. Just make sure that this one is checked and then register. I've already registered it, so that's why it's showing me, asking me if I want to re-register for it. And so uh, anyway, make, let's make sure that that was giving me an error earlier and I don't want anybody to get that same error. So then once we've done that, we register for Azure. Um, obviously that's like a one-time thing to get that set up. And then the next thing we need to do is in, <coughs> excuse me, in our, uh, and I, I, there's probably a way to do it in, in uh, Visual Studio Code, but I'm going to pull up the project in Writer. So I'm going to go out to our project on the desktop, and I'm going to go out to the back end folder, the CS Proj folder, and open up in Writer. Now, if you're in Windows, it's going to be Visual Studio. But this is key. This is, I don't know how many hours of my life trying to figure this one out. Uh, pre, as it turns out, uh, Gen AI, at least Gen AI that was available to the public, but uh, this was a tough one to figure out. So uh, if you're using a SQLite database that's one file of the many that are in this app, uh, then we need to do this step. So this is saving you pain and suffering later on. So we're, we're going to right click on the SQLite database, we're going to go to properties, and in properties, because it's a file that's going to be overwritten where it says copy to output directory, we need to change that to say copy if newer. Trust me on this one. <laughs> all right, so copy if newer. Just make sure you do that on any SQLite database. Again, all of this is kind of preliminary stuff, uh, but don't say I didn't warn you on that one. Okay, so th that's it we're going to do in Writer. So I'll close out of that. Um, we're going to open Visual Studio Code and do the rest there. So I'll open Visual Studio Code. We'll open the project. So out to the desktop for me, Water Project, and open that up with being able to see both ends of this project. And what we're going to do is deploy the back end first. 
All right, so to do this, what we want to do is we want to go into our extensions and we want to search for Azure Tools. All right, so the first one that comes up is this Microsoft Azure Tools. We're going to install that. I've already got it installed, but uh, you'd click on that install button. And then we also want to install this, uh, install this Azure CLI tools, which we may use later. Um, but those are both good to have installed. And when you install those extensions, you're going to see this little new window pop up here on the left for Azure. All right, so we've got this Azure window. So now that we've done that, what we want to do is go uh, back to our file structure and we're going to open up Terminal. And in Terminal, we are going to go into the folder where the, the csproj file is. And so we're going to cd uh, backend slash water project spelled right dot api all right so we'll get into that folder and when we list out our files there we can see the the csproj file there which is what we're looking for and then what we want to do is a dot net build to make sure that everything is built there's no errors and then once we've done that then we're going to type in a command dot net space publish hyphen c release hyphen o dot slash publish. Now this says create a uh, publish folder and publish to it in this location. All right, so we're gonna run that command and you'll see it pop up here on the left. Now we've got a publish folder in here and this is what we're gonna use to publish our app. So what do we do now? We go back down to this Azure tab and in here, we're going to click on this little plus button. So we click on the plus, and what we're looking for is create app service web app. Okay, create app service web app. So I'm going to click on that. You can search for it if you don't see it right there at the top. And then in here, it says, what do you want the name of the new app to be? And so I will call it Water Project Hilton Backend. All right, we really can name it whatever we'd like to. Hit enter, and it says, well, what was the stack we used? And I'll say .NET 8. And then this is important, select the pricing tier. Well, we want the free one. And so we're not doing a lot of uh, traffic or anything like that. We can use the free one. So we're gonna select free, F1. And it takes a minute here to uh, do a few things. This is tough, by the way, because I don't have because I don't have my other monitor. I can't see how much time I'm at, so I'm gonna have to use the force. I'm gonna have to go based off of feel to know when ten minutes is up to try and stop this thing. All right, this takes a minute on my computer. On my Windows computer, it felt like it took a little bit longer um, than it is taking when I'm running these on the Mac. So you may have to just pause for a minute. But when that gets done, it says succeeded. Then down here it says, "Do you want to deploy?" your web app and I say yes I do so I click on the button deploy and then up here it says well what what to file or what folder is it that you want to use to deploy well it's that publish one that I just created with that publish command and so I'm going to browse and go into my back end into water project API and then I'm going to select this publish folder so this is the one we want selected when we click this select button so I hit that and it says do you always want to deploy out of the publish folder and the answer is for this project and the answer is yes and so I'll go ahead and say yes and we are deployed now you may not be deployed yet it took me much longer I guess it just depends on internet speed and computer and whatnot but it took me much longer when I was doing it on the Windows side all right so now that's deployed I'll click on browse website and it pops up with nothing well I got to put in my path so this is out on the internet right that's the website and I say slash uh, water slash all projects hit enter and we are deployed that was deploying the back end in some amount of time I don't know because I can't see but uh, we have data this is good so what we're gonna do now is get the front end deployed which I will do in the next video Spencer out